What is up, gang of Lang? We are back with another tier list. And this time around, we are going to be doing an emoji tier list. And I, of course, am handling this list because everyone knows that the Joester is the most hippest and coolest guy here. I mean, I do hang out with the youngest people out of the three of us. Joe, that's not really something you should be proud of. Matter of fact, that's probably something I would take to the grave if I were you. Well, he's basically on his way there. I mean, the dude is about to be 90, so the time is ticking on that. Just like how jail time is ticking for you, buddy. Better to be in jail than to be dead, you sleepy fart. I mean, that's a bit debatable, but either way, I'm going to need you two to settle down. Let's go ahead and let Joe start the list. Even if his reasons for being so good at this list is very creepy, and quite frankly, should get reported to authorities almost immediately. Ha, huh, joke's on you because you can't jail someone for being so freaking sick. Sick in the head. Well, only a little. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this list started. And up first, we have the angry face emoji. And this is a solid A tier to start this list off. Because if you send someone an angry face emoji, then they know they made the Joe dog angry. And believe you me, you would not like it when I am angry. What happens when you get angry, Joe? If only you can ask the last guy that pissed me off. Too bad he's dead. Jesus Christ, what did you do to him, Joe? Oh, I didn't do anything to him, really. It was just my friend named Jeff. It's sad that he had to pass away, man. Gone too soon, and I never got to apologize to him when he was alive, and now we will never reconcile, and I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. Oh, uh, I'm really sorry that happened to you, Joe. That was actually quite sad. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sure old Epstein is looking up at us right now. But anywho, let's continue on with the list. And after the angry emoji, we have the hurt emoji. And this is a C tier, in my opinion, because, like, what use is there to this emoji? Like, who the hell is genuinely using this frequently? Like, maybe if you're sick or, like, you say you're hurt. But, I mean, it's not as bad as the things I have going into D tier because those are downright disrespectful. But, yeah, it's mighty mid, so I don't have much to say on it. The next three, though, oh, my goodness, because I have them all going into S tier because who doesn't like the hard eyes, kissy face, and the laughing emoji? These are the wombo combo of how to get chicks. I slide up on their story with the hard eyes, and they say, thanks, Joe. And then I hit them with the kissy face, letting them know that the Joe dog is down to tongue tangle with them. Then the laughing emoji is yet another emoji that lets you know if you're in or not. You know the Joe dog saying, if you can make them giggle, then you can make them cheeks jiggle. It's pretty easy to make them laugh, though, considering that girls nowadays laugh at almost anything, watching enough Coco Melon just fries their brains. Joe, Jesus Christ, man. Coco Melon came out, or at least got popular, like in 2018 or 2019. At least wait for them to get to 18 or 19. Neither of those are correct at all. Why can't you two just chase after people that are close to your age group? It's really not that hard. Like, Joe, tell me what you and a teenager could possibly have in common. We both like emojis, and we are hip and cool. They keep me young, and I help them mature. God, no, that is not at all what they need in their life at all. Look at dude over here getting mad because I get so much tail, Donald. Yeah, that's some real petty energy you got brewing over there, Barack. Yeah, man, like, I, I know people take the age gap seriously, but it's getting ridiculous at this point. Like, for example, I'll sometimes bring 21-year-olds to the bar with me, and it's nothing but mean and insensitive comments like they're too young to drink and where'd you find 20 of them oh, jesus christ nah that joke banged uh i wasn't joking but anyways let's continue with the list because we're getting sidetracked after those banging three we have the head explosion emoji so like my mind is being blown and honestly i like this one but i don't use it that much i think a b tier is okay for it my mind is rarely blown but if they had an eggplant being blown then i'd be using that emoji frequently. But hold your horses, everyone, because we got the monocle thinking emoji, and goddamn, this is an S tier. Whenever I find myself pondering or just thinking, I love using this emoji because it really shows the people that I am thinking. They call me the big thinker because of all the thoughts I be thinking. Joe, not once has anyone thought that about you. Let's be honest, most people think there is not a single thought behind those old dementia-ridden eyes. Mostly resembles a goldfish, if you ask me. Come on, Donald, I am one of the smartest minds out there. Then tell me a joke right now off the top of your dome. Uh, well, uh, you're kind of putting me on the spot, but, uh, uh, or, uh, oh, here's one. So an elementary school teacher, a lawyer, and the 46th president are with three young boys who are on a plane with only three parachutes. The engine suddenly explodes and the plane starts going down. The teacher says, save the children. The lawyer yells, F the children. And the 46th president looks around and whispers to the other two, is there time? 
Now that's a goddamn banger right there. Uh, Joe, you do realize that the 46th president is you, right? Yeah, I know. The joke is twice as funny now because he's self-aware. I'm scared that it isn't a joke, quite frankly. Come on, Barack, you know me. I would never do that in real life. You're right, maybe I'm just thinking too harshly of you right now. Yeah, I mean, why would I bother asking? I'd just do it, <laughs> him. But yes, anyways, following that, we have back-to-back -back D tiers, and that's the no reaction face and the throw up emoji face. I hate getting these two when I'm texting people, and it annoys me so much that I just hate these two emojis. Like sure, just send that unimpressed emoji whenever I try to riz you up, Jessica. Have fun at your school dance this Friday because Lord knows you're gonna look so stupid without having a president be your dance partner. And don't even get me started on the throw up emoji because God forbid a man tries to show off his blue Gatorade hot dogs and then you get spammed with this emoji. I hate these two so freaking much. This is a huge L, Joe. The unimpressed face is okay at D tier, but that throw up emoji is a bona fide banger, my man. Like that emoji perfectly encapsulates how I feel whenever you talk about your Gatorade dogs. Firstly, they're blue Gatorade dogs, not just any other color of Gatorade because they won't bang. And secondly, you just pointed out why I hate that emoji. I refuse to place those higher. But yeah, then after we have a mid entry in the fake smile emoji. How can you tell it's a fake smile, Joe? Dude, just look at the freaking emoji. I can tell that if someone sends this to me, they don't really mean that they're happy. They're just being fake and I hate it. And that's why it goes into C tier. But man, we got a banger up next because we have the smirking emoji. And you all already know that the Joester has this in his arsenal at all times. Like this is a bona fide S tier because this can be applicable in so many situations. And it's sort of a, yeah, you wanna find out more, don't you type of emoji. Like it feels so smug, but in a good way. I don't even wanna know what the hell the, yeah, you wanna find out more, don't you means. Let's be for real here, Barack. We already know that it has to do with something freaky. Yeah, I know, but it still sucks. Whoa, guys, maybe I'm talking about my secret formula to make the best sauce that can go on fries, burgers, or even hot dogs. See, first you start off with a base of horseradish, then you add a dollop of peanut butter for some extra creaminess, and so it isn't so liquidy, because then, after you're gonna add some melted butter to the mix, until you get a really nice spreadable or squirtable consistency, if you're gonna bottle it, then after that, you continue with your other sauces. Like I add some mayo to the mix, and then some Frank's Red Hot, and to top it all off, I do a nice little squeeze of mustard too and mix until you get the consistency you want. And I guarantee you that the Joe Dog special sauce is something you love. See, that doesn't sound bad, but the peanut butter is throwing me off, man. That's what throws you off. Not the fact that he added melted butter to the mix, or better yet, the fact that he added some goddamn horseradish to the whole thing. Well, I mean, if you get rid of the peanut butter, it actually sounds like a secret house sauce at a restaurant or something. Plus, doesn't mustard and horseradish taste kind of the same? I don't know about that one, but I've heard people put peanut butter on their ramen to make it taste better, so I don't know anymore. Maybe this special Joe sauce is actually good and we're putting too much disrespect on it. Yeah, well, there's another ingredient I can't let out, but give me a couple of minutes to squeeze it out and it'll be the cherry on top of the whole thing, but uh, that's for everyone to try out at home. Let's continue with the list because we got two back-to-back -back A tear entries in the tongue out emoji and the sunglasses emoji because the sunglasses show how you're just a dope person overall. And it's another way of saying, I'm cool with that or I'm cool. And the tongue out shows how freaky you are. So of course the Joe dog is gonna love it. Gross Joe. Maybe it's just a playful way of saying that, that they're down or something. Like if you invite them out for food and they send that emoji after. Let's keep it real here, Barack. That's not what it means. Oh uh, yeah, I know. Glad we're on the same page. Anyways, then, after we have our final S tier entry up next, and that is the hand on the chin thinking emoji. And this one is basically interchangeable with the monocle one. So you can use this instead of the monocle for some added variety. But we're at the end of the list, so let's go ahead and tackle this last one because I have the eye rolling emoji going straight into C tier. I don't really like this emoji that much because once again, it just seems rude as hell. Like I'll kill someone if they send me this when I suggest something legitimate in the chat. Okay, so why isn't this in D tier then? I thought you hated it. Well, I use this one too, so I can't really put it that low. Wow, so it's bad when other people use it, but when you do it, all of a sudden it's okay. Exactly. Glad you phrased it perfectly, Barack, because I want everyone to know that only the Joe dog can get away with breaking the law or doing evil acts. Oh, that's our Joe, spoken like a true president. What a silly little rascal.